I'm going to do some random pulls for Wright Patterson Mahjong. If you are new to this version, there are links in the video description below so you can learn the fundamentals. Also, you're going to need the green book. In here are instructions for how to play the game and descriptions of the 85 hands that you can choose from. The purpose of this exercise is to identify the strength in a dealt hand so that you can find a category to focus on. With 85 hands, there are a lot to choose from. Starting at the category level is best. If you're new to Mahjong, or if you already know how to play and just want to build your skills, consider subscribing to my channel. That way you won't miss anything. We're going to roll these dice to determine who is prevailing. I rolled an 8, 2, 4, 6, 8 would be player 4, or north. North is prevailing. These dice will tell us which player we are. I rolled a 2, so we're going to be player 2 which is south. South seat, north is prevailing. I will get 13 tiles. With this random pull, we have honors, seven, including a pair. We have one bam, three cracks, two dots. If this were your dealt hand, what would you say is the strength of the hand? What would you focus on and what would be your first pass? If this were my hand, I would play a hand of honors. Nine tiles towards the hand of honors, maybe even angels. Angels is number 63 on page 25. Ones and nines in each suit with seven odd honors, any terminal or honor paired, any tile paired. Here we have a pair north. So we would need more ones and nines, but if we drew in honors, we could maybe play well, geez, there's a number of hands in here you could play with just honors, even with a pair of terminals. I would just gather honors and terminals, so I would probably discard those three for this random pull. For the next random pull, since we rolled a six, south is prevailing. I rolled a three, so we're going to be in west seat. Thirteen tiles. Single wind. Four dots, three bams, five cracks, mixed suits. Here's a pair. If these were your tiles, what would you focus on and what would be your first pass? If this were my hand, I would focus on odds. Big 1579 or little 1579. We're in west seat, but it is south round. This might come in handy if we play big 1579. These two hands are on page 23, number 49 and 50. Big 1579 is 1579 in two suits with a pung and a different number. So maybe dots and cracks. 1579 in these two suits 
then you need a pair of your own or prevailing wind. Little 1579 does not use a wind and you need pungs of ones, five, sevens, and nines with a pair of either ones or nines. I think that's what I would focus on. We might not be able to use that, but I would keep it anyway since it's odd. We might be able to switch to a number hand. Maybe even keep these. There's a little chance at middle chows, but there's only five tiles and we would pass two like numbers. I don't like that. I prefer not to do that. We could pass one of each suit. I think I would maybe keep the six and start here. Odds. I rolled a three, so west is going to be prevailing, and we are going to be in north seat. One dragon, four dots, seven bams, and a crack. If this were your dealt hand, what would you focus on and what would be your first pass? If this were my hand, I would focus on BAMs. Keep winds and dragons. There are a lot of hands that use one suit with winds and dragons. So I would keep this, but focus on BAMs. I would probably discard those. One nine are terminals, six four are evens. This I think is the most benign pass with these tiles. So I would play BAMs. Maybe a pair hand or sequence hand. Maybe even a jewel hand. I would keep jewel hands, pair hands, sequence hands all in mind here. If you have a set of tiles at home, try random pulls. Focus on the strength in the dealt hand to figure out which category best uses those tiles. Then identify a pass and keep tiles for the category. Eventually you'll be able to pick a hand based on the strength of that hand as it develops. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, consider subscribing. Click the little gray bell if you do. That way you'll get notification for when I post new videos and you won't miss an opportunity to learn a new strategy or pick up an insight to the game that could give you an advantage at the table. Between now and the next set of random pulls for Wright Patterson Mahjong, may all your picks be keepers.